show you regarding how I do my polymer earrings or necklaces or uh, keychain. So I use polymer clay and one of this is my cross stitch. So I don't know if you can see it. So I'm gonna show you how I paint it or design it. I use the my painting or acrylic painting painter. Yep, you can see it. Yep. Yes. So I use that for uh, painting it. If you don't want to paint it, it's okay. So let's start it. So I'm gonna just paint it. If you you want it like this color, I combine some of the polymer. So this is with a like a pink and white, blue, light blue and orange, and this one is like a I think it's a color like a darker pink and some of like a little brownish. So. Let's start it. So I use brush. You can get a brush everywhere or you have an old makeup brushes. I use that too. I use some brushes from a dollar store or Dollar Tree. You can bought that. So let's start. So I'm just going to show you how I paint it and decorate it. So I always use this acrylic paint rather than the brushes so I can easily like do the lining or stuff so I'm gonna start with a gold so I want this like a gold if you just want the edge of it so you can see the polymer you can do it so I usually do uh, earrings So if you want to wear gloves, you can pay, you can use gloves. So I do it like this. So it's a messy thing, but I like that thing. I like doing this with my bare hands. So I just lining up, and then I just do is combine some colors if I want it. I with like pink. I make like a like like a dot like that. This is a polymer clay. So after that, I can use different brush and like brush it up like that. So it's like gonna mix it up the colors. So I bake it like like forty minutes, like two hundred fifty Fahrenheit. So. I bake it until it's getting hard so I combine the colors and let's do it to the other one so this is not the finished stuff so as you can see I can I put the hole on the top so you can put the like a hook for the earrings so I'm gonna do you can use some of paint. I think dollar store have a paint too, so you can use it. Dollar Tree, yep. Okay, you just paint it out. And let's add a white one. So I make like a I, I like mixing up the colors. It depends on you how can you combine the colors. So also in this one I don't have like in the cross stitch I don't have the what do you call that a pattern. I just do it my own pattern and do it. And I'm gonna put again the pink. It's like it's a tiny but a bit of that it's just like a dot thing so I want you to sh show you how I made those so I made it truly by hand and 
I want it truly by hand. I do this, I put the cross stitch in the polymer, so have a new design for my jewelry or keychain, but it's up to you. So I just put it, or you can put with the raisin with the glitters on it. But I use this paint and then I used to polish it like with a mud podge or you can use coconut oil to shine it. So this is an earrings that I'm making. So I just want to show you how I make it. So I know guys you already have like the tools like a hook. You can use a hook if you don't want to thicker it so you can use the hook on it you can just take the polymer clay so then I'm gonna add like a silver so I like combining the colors until that so I use it the acrylic paint I bought acrylic paint in Amazon so maybe you can get it in Walmart or Target. So I rather use this so I can just like a marking it. But you can use the paint one if you want the brush one. So I just do that. So I combine a lot of colors to pop out the clay. And after that again I wanna I put the lining on it so you're gonna pop up the figure like the star figure it's like a I have a molder you can use the molder but I paint it my own so like this So, if you want, you can dry it off before you put the chain on it. And after that, you can put a uh, coconut oil or polymer. Uh, I mean, the polish or the Mod Podge from it. So, it's like going to be shiny. So, I put again for the edge. So, I do it this by hand and then I want to pop up again the color white so there's a lot of layers it should not be like the same I just want to pop up the figure or the the design it's up to you if you want to draw something if your kids want to join but you need to guide them especially this is an acrylic and then I'm gonna put the last one with this pink again pop up so it's like layer by layer it's like a other one so I let it dry if it's dry already and I see like I need more more design I'm gonna go back and put whatever I need to put so let's do this other one so I just want to show you how I paint it so what did I use to do my jewelry or my cute stuff with the polymer clay because sometimes I use the polymer clay or I can the previous one I used the uh, raisin now I use the polymer with my cross stitch so I just do like a small pattern of the cross stitch so I can put it and so a different design so we need to for this you can use the blue again so I want this to pop up the color silver so we're gonna put that in the edge so that's why I want the marker so it's easy to corner up or if you want to draw something so 
like this. It's like, uh, you know, like a hard stuff in a clay, but this is for making like design or stuff. Okay, then the other one. So we can layer it again later. It should not be perfect because it's like a uh, abstract thing. So I didn't look it for I didn't watch this it's on my mind so whatever I want to experiment stuff I do it and I make like a product of like earrings or keychain or for your gift for holiday so I do get the blue get like a like a pattern like squirrel here so you, as you can see, you can see the blue, but I'm making like a pattern one. So I just want to paint them so to pop up the colors, it's not like the bland one. So get our white, get our white, I got the one that, with the blue. You can draw like a flower or stuff, but I like like abstract thing on this thing because the design over here is pop up the cross stitch. Then I combine the orange. I put the orange on the white section. So if you can see the design, you can just put another one. So I just, I'm not a professional painter. I just want to show you how I do my uh, jewelry stuff, this good stuff. So I do it my own, handmade, and let's do the gold one. Just pop up the color over here. The extra edges here, you, you can cut it. Okay, just pop the gold in there. So I just want to combine the color. If it's not good, I just put another color and combine what is nice for this. So let's try the white one. So the bigger one so I'm gonna do a bigger one yeah, it's like that I use aluminum foil because I bake it in the oven but you can use it with the uh, newspaper on the bottom so you, your table is fine like a big circle so you can see it so I just leave it a little bit and if you want to pop up some stuff um, maybe we need to put a silver on the middle of the circle it's a little bit just to pop up the, the design yeah you can just make like a dot in the here just to color it Let it, let it dry a little bit then we can go back it later so that if you want something like pop up again we had the color black like a tiny bit 
because sometimes I cannot use the black it's like a pencil pen like a marker but I use it sometimes to pop up the shape or the design yep, like that just a little bit just like a dot okay so it's like that and then I just leave it and then I will do the other one and then I will go back if I need to decolor it if you want to color it at the back too you can with those gold or the silver at the back and I'm gonna finish this then I will go back to check if I want a more design on it or I put some of like liters or beads so i can put it on but this is dry already so for this i want to pop up the color white so i do this to pop up the color i just line it on the side to pop up the shape like it's like her background the excess uh, thread you can remove that by or cut it off so I can use the red so you cannot see the red over here. So get some the brown color. You cannot see it too. So like that. So if you cannot see it, let's find like a white or a silver to pop up the colors. So it's up to you what design you want. So I use the color that you can see the design. So yep. So the silver is pop up can pop up the color then let's do the let's try the pink yep it's a little bit pop so I do that or I just paint it then you can layer it So like that then if I want to add something else again I'm gonna pop up with the white yeah but this is not uh, it's so big so maybe we can layer it again because the white is very pop up in here so I'm gonna layer it by layer so I just want to cover the, the clay but the color of the clay is still the same. I just want to have a pop-up color. So let's go. You can wait to dry it up. But I want it layer by layer to design it. messy but it's good it's enjoyable it's relaxing too 
Then let's try with a gold one. Okay, it's a lot of gold. Yeah, you can see the pop up of colors. Okay. Yep. Other one. And other. Okay. So I let it dry and after it's dry, if I want to repaint on the side, I can do it. So that's for all that's for all now and thank you for watching. So I will try to think again another design that I can make by the polymer and the cross stitch. So I'm just experimenting doing combination of the two products. So as long as you have it at home you can use that and then uh if you want the chain you can buy it in amazon they have like like this like hooks so it's a pack or you can see it in whatever store you can search it then you can use all those like hooks like this or before you bake it you're gonna put on the top of the polymer clay so to hook it or I just combine this so you can use anything you can hook or a stud earrings or you can make a, a, a keychain on it or you can stick this with a hot a glue gun hot glue gun and put it in somewhere that you want to put it's like cup or stuff so it's like a decoration so that's it thank you for watching so i'm gonna uh, post the pictures after i've done this thing so thank you and have a good day god bless bye